What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So today I'm just going to walk you through just a couple of things that you can try out on congas that are really going to help you out, kind of enhance your funk patterns. Oh yeah, you got to love it. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, just to find out when I do upload and I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the patience, the comments, just sharing. Man, everything you guys do to just help allow this channel to grow seriously man i am beyond beyond grateful for just the continued love you guys give so in today's video i'm going to talk about a couple of things that you can try on your funk patterns that can really change or enhance either the feel or the sound or the tone and it's not really life altering and wow this is a you know something i just discovered no it's just just moving things around that can really really help kind of just change the feel. And for this example, I'm actually going to be using one funk pattern and I'm going to change the feel, the sound by just moving certain things around. Yeah, so this one funk pattern is this one. So yes, I'm going to take that funk pattern and kind of change it up without really changing the pattern. So I start with two opens with my dominant hand on the conga. And then what I do with my non-dominant hand, I actually rest it in the middle of the conga to help assist with my dominant hand so I can make a close slap. So to put that together, After doing that close slap with my dominant hand, what I'm going to do is a ghost note or a fingertip with my non-dominant hand. Then what I do is two opens with my dominant hand on the conga, then one open with my non-dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. To put that together, And to finish off this pattern, to kind of help you start it all over again, what I'm going to do is with my non-dominant hand, move it up to the middle of the drum again to kind of just lay it there and let it rest to help me do the next part, which is a close lap with my dominant hand on the conga. So to put everything together, And to kind of help you start the whole thing all over again, after doing that close slap, you're just gonna do a little finger tap with your non-dominant hand on the conga. And that's what's really gonna help you transition to the next part, which is those first two opens. But yeah, to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. Super, super simple funk pattern. Very easy, very, you would say, monotone. You know, it's not going anywhere. It doesn't excite as well. So yeah, it's, it's very pocketed. So if you have to do that and just be straight up pocket, yeah, you could do this for 30 minutes. But if you wanted to enhance that, and if you wanted to make it sound a little bit more spicy or just 
different and not so monotone. There's a couple of things that you can do with this same funk pattern or any other pattern at that and really help change. So the first thing is melody. Yes, melody. Add a little bit more melody to that pattern. All you have to do is change the tones somewhere else or moving somewhere else around your set. So in this case, I have three drums. Most people play with two. So I'm going to use just two drums for this first example. But let's just say those first two opens, let's move them to the tumba and let's see how that sounds just to cause a little change. Now that was spicy. Just moving it to the tumba, just those first two opens. That literally changes just the feel and the approach when you're doing something. Now, let's just kind of do one all here on the conga and then start moving to the tumba. And let's see how that kind of adds more of a melodic approach to this simple funk pattern. Crazy, just doing that, you know, one here, then one here, one here, then one here. It just enhances a simple funk pattern like that. It completely changes the feel and the drive and just the, the approach of it all. So let's say you're in the middle of a song, maybe approach the funk pattern for the verses part or the A section here. And then when it comes to the chorus, that's when you can maybe start switching back and forth or strictly being on the tumba. But let's just try it out. I haven't tried it out, but let's try it out. Let's try doing all the opens that you would normally do with your dominant hand, let's move them to the tumba. And then since there's only one open with your non-dominant hand, just just keep it here on the conga. And let's see how crazy that sounds. Crazy, just unbelievable, it's completely different. But here's what's crazy. We have not moved anything at all. We have not changed what hand we're using. We're just moving where we're hitting it at. That's all it is. But the amount of opens and the amount of slaps and the ghost notes, none of that has changed. You're still doing opens with your dominant hand. You're still doing the same opens with your non-dominant hand. So that's what's crazy, just moving it all around. Now let's try to put all those three together and see how much the dynamic and the feel and the, the emotion change just by doing that. Yeah, let's give it a try. trying to tell you melody melody makes such a big difference to patterns now let's say you have three drums 
three drums. Let's say you have three drums. How can you enhance that? Now, be smart about it. Be smart about it, guys. Be smart about everything. Be smart about your melodies. Be smart on how you tune. I'm not tuning to any notes right now. I'm just tuning by ear. I think it sounded good. And let me just hear these three out. Very interesting, very different, very distinct. Now let's uh, throw in some ideas on how we could do this same funk pattern and uh, move it all around. Now, I'm not going to change the close slaps and the ghost notes. Those are always going to be here on the conga. Now, what I am going to change is maybe those two opens and then the last three opens. Let's see if you can pick out the difference. Yes, it can get out of hand, but again, it's the same funk pattern. All I'm doing is now moving my non-dominant hand to do an open. So for the original pattern, it's gonna be like this. And what I did to change it for three drums is I did this. If you notice, the first opens is I started off with my tumba to my dominant side and then went and did the open to the conga with my dominant hand. And then for the last three opens, what I did is I started on the tumba to my dominant side and with my non-dominant hand, I did the second open. So it was open, open, and I went here and I did the third open open which normally is done with my non-dominant hand so just to get the feel of the difference this is how i transitioned versus so all i changed really is dominant hand dominant hand non-dominant hand versus dominant hand non-dominant hand dominant hand. Yeah, that's too many dominants, but yeah, that's all it is. And all you have to do is kind of accustom yourself to the sound. Again, melody is king. Melody is going to help you do some changes and really enhance a simple funk pattern. The next thing that you can really do to enhance a basic funk pattern, something like this, is actually adding an extra note. And I don't mean like a drastic extra note. I don't mean like something that can be taken out of the blue somewhere and sound crazy or anything like that. All I mean is just adding an extra note in between something that you're already doing. So it's something that you're already doing with your dominant hand. All you're going to do is since your non-dominant hand is available, just add an extra note there. So what do I mean? Let me show you for example. Did you catch it? Those first two opens, my dominant hand is always going to land exactly where that is. Do, do, right? But there is a space between those two opens that I can add something with my non-dominant hand because all it's doing is coming back from doing a slap. So I can just easily just add an open right there with my non-dominant hand. To show it to you again, Yes, crazy, just adding that extra note. Man, 
It's just adding that extra note. Now, let's combine it with the melody that we did. Just adding, let's say, let's do the, the two opens that we did on the tumba. But that extra open, that extra note that we're going to do, just leave it on the conga. And let's see how that sounds. Dude, did you, did you hear that? Did you hear how beautiful that sounded? I need to, I need to play that in a little bit more funkier, faster feel. Yeah, I need to try that in a funkier, faster feel. Let's try that. Yo, you can uh, you can really get spicy with that. Literally, all I did was add one open, one open, and it completely changed the feel of that funk pattern. It really changed the feel, especially when you did that. I I, I feel kind of crazy. Let me put that open on my tumba to my non-dominant side with that melodic kind of funk pattern. Yeah, let's uh, let's hear that out. I'm kind of kind of scared, but let's hear that out. Let's hear that out. I just added one open, one open in my hand positioning and everything that I'm doing to kind of keep that feel alive. It stays the same. All I'm doing is adding one open, one open. And the last one, it's really a bonus, but this can really change the feel dynamic and everything. And that's called rest. We all need to rest, take naps. Take naps while you're doing a funk pattern. Yes, it's okay to rest. It's okay to kind of hesitate and kind of stutter a little bit. Not, you know, on accident, but intentionally. Intentionally taking some time to kind of absorb the feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the funk pattern as I, we've been doing it here on the drum. And then I'm just gonna do a slight rest as I'm going to start the whole thing over. But this thing really depends on the type of funk that you're going to be playing. So it will probably collide with a lot of different ones. But if let's say you're the main person, you're on congas and maybe the drum is really laid back or something like that, this is going to really kind of stand out. So yeah, let me show you that. Yeah, that one's kind of different. It's kind of funky. It's kind of weird, but that's what I'm talking about. Enhancing simple funk patterns and that completely changed it. And I'm still playing it on time. Let me kind of count it for you just so you can be sure about this. One, two, three, four, and 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 one. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. Crazy, right? I'm still playing that timing. All I'm doing is hesitating on that last 
close slap to start the whole pattern all over again. That's really important. All I'm doing is taking a little rest and it completely changes the feel. Now let me play that pattern all the way through just so you can just, it just completely changes it. So if you wanna get technical on finding out where that actually lands. So the close slaps are normally landing on the two and on the four. So when we're counting it, it's one, two, three, four. But in this case, you're actually going to do it on the and of four. So it's one, two, three, four, and one like that. So literally all you're doing is landing on that end and it really adds a big difference. Super spicy, man, I'm, I, I'm addicted to it. Let me do it again. Now, let's add this change to the melody and to adding one extra note. Let me show you those three combined. So melody, adding one extra note, and just resting on occasion. So yeah, let me show you that. I'm trying to tell you guys, these videos, man, how much I wished I had something like this years ago, man. Simple changes, simple changes. And now all you're doing is adding so much more to your arsenal, more tools, more things for recordings, more things for just not getting bored of playing the same funk pattern every single gig. And now you have more things. And now when you're hesitating, now the drums like, oh, Okay, okay, I could do that on the snare. And now you're talking, and now you're communicating, and now everybody's getting all funky with it. Man, that's what it's all about, just adding more and more to something so basic and so simple. All right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Y'all already know what to do, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.